Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. that Shanae O'Connor you look like a bison in the middle of the highway <laughs> somebody in a car is like can you move <laughs> go around well, it. oh I'm just realized I'm hearing it here uh what's going on folks what's going on folks people are bitching the yeah. show's 15 minutes late is it late if I was Dave Chappelle would this be late or would you all be even more impressed <laughs> huh come on folks what's going on I learned this is the thing I knew I was gonna be late today I said, you know what? F- all that. I'm not going to stress myself out. Sure. I'm just going to play it low key. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Enjoy it's the day. Fun. A bunch of the listeners right now are going, what does he have to be stressed out about? <laughs> <laughs> my account's overdrafted. There's brown water leaking through my walls in the fucking apartment. Oh, Is there wow. really? Why? I don't fucking Did know. You ask the landlord? I talked to the, uh, I, I didn't tell the super. I got Are you them. hiding gravy in the walls like a squirrel? <laughs> <laughs> Pretending you don't know what it is to yeah, your Yeah, babe, I don't know. But it's going to help us in the winter, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I've been living out here on the highway, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, we got a haircut. I'm sweating like a fuckball in here. It is so hot. Um, you can notice when you're sweating more. Because you told me you cut your hair because you saw in pictures you were sweating like a fat fuck and like looking kind of gnarly and haggard. But you now, yeah, I you mean. you still can tell. Yeah. I don't think. <laughs> you look like an evil snowman. You now. know why I cut my hair? <laughs> to take some accountability for my face. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, oh, that's, said oh, that's the best part about you. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I'm taking that's some accountability. That's the only part about you that's, that's good looking. <laughs> No, face. because I I think before I could kind of hide a, a little bit of my oh, cheek frame fat. It up. Yeah, with like, sure. wow, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. all gone. Now I'm hoping, uh, you know, I catch myself in the that's mirror so while funny. I'm eating some yeah. wings. That really uh, is, a, <laughs> that really is like fat guy science. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's covered up as much as you can. What's right. that thing called? The whole headdress? You just grew one naturally. Oh, uh, Habib. Uh, yeah. Wait, isn't, isn't it Habib? Is it no. Habib? Hijab. 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 There we go. <laughs> Who the fuck is Habib? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we are, uh, the spring is in bloom, folks. We hope you're watching this right now on uh, gasdigital.com. I'm also a little sick. I got a little oh, wow. sinus infection or something. Might you be know, allergies. Gotta, you got to get, you get maybe, allergies. Maybe. It could be something like that. I, I feel okay, but I just want to die. Um, we have two amazing guests in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh good. yeah. Oh yeah. That's normal. People are already shitting on the haircut. I don't. Uh, I don't know how I much. Bet, I, how does I, it feel? I personally don't like it. You don't like it? You going on the record? Yeah, and I've had atrocious haircuts before. I th- well, here's the thing. I think you're not seeing it in its best element right now. It looks like I just chased down a black guy as a cop. <laughs> it, <laughs> I'm like sweating. You look like a tired cop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, but what, I think by the end of the show, it'll grow on you. You know what I mean? I don't want it anywhere near me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really quickly, this weekend. <laughs> whose tits are those? Those are mine. Shown- <laughs> <laughs> this weekend, I will be at the Plano House of Comedy just outside of Dallas, so please come out to that. And um, in two weeks, I will be in both Edmonton and Vancouver playing the weekends at those House of Comedies. I think I'm also about to be in uh, Saratoga Springs at the end of the month on that last Friday and Saturday, and uh, a few other dates coming up. And um, Left for and Friends, May 29th, Brooklyn Comedy Club, Williamsburg Comedy Club now. 29th, I think that's the date, so come out to that. Is that right? Maybe, maybe maybe that's the wrong day, but it's somewhere in that week. I have two amazing guests in the fucking. What's all this fucking haircut? Go to the gym bullshit. I don't know. Man. People Damn. really, you know, it's like the chat. As from somebody... Brendan Sagalo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm texting it on my coffee right now. <laughs> we have uh, two amazing guests. You know, on hold on, hold on, real quick. And Go I know on. it's all fun and games, and we all like Opie and Anthony. <laughs> We've all listened. To, we all know we like to bust each other's balls and all that stuff. I get it, but. When I, because I get a plethora of people telling me to lose weight and I'm fat and all that stuff, I think there's a couple of people remaking accounts because I'll bl- I'll just block them. <laughs> I'll just go like, all right, block, and then it's like a new account shows up, and I think that's kind of a just game for some people. It's fat conspiracy theory. Fat conspiracies, <laughs> yeah, fat conspiracies. I think it's more likely that more the people the XXL just... files. No, but I'll, uh, my point is, anytime someone's like, like this person in the chat, 
I mean, I could be wrong or whatever, but if they're like, if you got to lose weight, and it's like, send us a picture of what you look yeah, like yeah. right now. I bet, yeah, I bet the guy in Lev Fur's chat <laughs> at Hang on a second. We're sort of, <laughs> we're sort of encroach on me a little bit. 630 in, Le, in the Lev Fur show chat. I'm f- sure he's the epitome of uh, just amazing, you know. Yeah, you know yeah, I'm he's probably saying. telling. He's probably at Equinox. I'm just saying. You know what? A lot of the fat guys who give me shit, it's they right. are they're former fatties. Yes, and mm. and they did it. This is the thing. I'm I'm uh, I'm gonna yo yo. You know what I mean? I'm gonna. You're definitely the size of one. <laughs> the shape, at, at <laughs> least. I mean, <laughs> you're not a little tiny yo yo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, we're, I'm gonna get it together. So I think by the end of this summer we'll be all right. At least I'm maintaining right now. You, you should know get I mean? huge, buddy. Like absolutely. What do you think jacked. I've been doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have uh, so many people in the chat today. There's such a suspicious amount of people. It almost feels like the chat is broken. <laughs> it's like I think the number's wrong. <laughs> so many people are watching live on gas. Um, two great guests in the building today. We're already having such a good time. The great Brendan Saglo is here. What's up? What's up, baby boy? How, how you doing? I hate that I just said baby boy. That was very Lewisy. Yeah, yeah, it was very Lewisy. Dude, my son is the best. <laughs> 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 just drowned him in Jamaica. <laughs> Brendan Saglo filled in on two hours' notice. I assume he was nearby uh, eating somewhere. Yeah. And he, uh... I wa- no, I wasn't, dude. <laughs> I actually fucked up today because speaking of haircuts, I went to the salon. Whoa. Really? Where I go. I go to a salon, nice. boys. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Sorry. And uh, sorry, not sorry. And I went on the wrong day. They were like, they were like <laughs> "What are you doing here?" And I was like, "I'm here for my up." And I literally walked in like, bah, bah, bah. "I'm like a I, salon I guy." I was like, "Ka ka finger banging people." And then they were like, "They're like, that's yeah, not yeah. finger banging. This is <laughs> oh really? This is finger guns, finger banging, <laughs> finger gunning. <laughs> I've been there finger, finger banging. banging people on the wrong day. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it's not my, it's not me." <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I, I was I've just been around all fucking day. I've just been walking around. I'm so I'm pretty exhausted to be honest. That's good. It's good to just fu- walk around New York. Today is a That's good a great day. It's a great day to walk great around. Day. Great day oh to God, walk it's around. Crazy outside. There the guys Oh, they're out. They're out. <laughs> you don't even need to say it. I woke up this morning 7:30 a.m. My friend texted me. Yeah. The tits our tits are out today. Tits are out today, yeah. boys. Mm-hmm. The ladies, that's it. It's over 75 in New York. Women are dressed like scafuzas out here. It's, it's really Is that a real word? Scafuza? I think it's a fake Sopranos term. Yeah. Oh wow. From an and it's, usually those Sopranos Italian words have a real origin and then they like fuck it up to show that they're not really Italian. <laughs> Finished your workout? I sure did. Yeah, please. a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a couple of years back. <laughs> yeah, the ladies are looking good today. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> Charles Engel in hey, the building. Hello. Moved therapy for this. I did. You did? I can't. Well, I had I had the day off. Oh. Uh, but uh, yeah, from I therapy. Thought, yes. Wow. Yeah, uh, he's he's getting too too rough with me. Who's <laughs> your therapist? What's his name? Can uh, I guess? I, yeah. I bet he goes to a woman. Do you go to a woman or a no, man? No, I okay, tried a man. woman. So it's she was it, too grossed out by me. Is it something like Peter or Glenn? That's no, a, such therapy names. It's like a a foreign name that also sounds that could be an American Habib? name. Habib. Like what? <laughs> like uh, Lev Fur? <laughs> yeah, he's my therapist. Um, the guy bombs the whole session. <laughs> <laughs> now, can I get another bubbly in here? My uh, Just pour it right in that hole in my back. I am <laughs> dehydrated, folks. Well, oh, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. But what, yeah. Yeah, what's your therapist's oh, name? Lucas with a K. Oh, uh, God. Foreign guy. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Yeah, from, uh, oh, my God. One of those countries that's not a country anymore. One of the all-time worst names. That's a horrible oh, it's name. It's I don't think I've met a Lucas I like. I've met a ton of Lukes. I love Lukes. Haven't met one of those I like either. <laughs> <laughs> but I've, I've ne- not met a Thank Lucas you. that uh, Thank you so much. can't catch these hands. <laughs> 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 nice man. <laughs> it's nice, it's good stuff. Yeah, that's that sounds like a. Do so, you like your therapist? Yeah, he's cool. You he's know who canceled guy. today? Luke Tuma canceled on the pod. Oh wow! Sagalo wow. filling in. Classic Luke. For Luke it, Tuma. It all comes together. That to me uh, seems like a net win. Mm. <laughs> I think you. Yeah. yeah, you've probably been in a few nets yourself. <laughs> <laughs> as of- you're as you're opening up the seltzer, it's so degrading. You go, yeah, I bet you're fat too. <laughs> I bet you're fat. I bet under your shirt you're fat. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not a gambler. <laughs> oh man. 
Uh, but I really appreciate you guys coming in. I've been trying to get Charles on forever, and Sag, you really saved our ass today. I mean, this is, I, I was going to feel like such a dick because Charles, I've been trying to get on forever. Yeah. He's like, I always have therapy that time. I can move it around next week. Let's it always it. feels yeah. lame responding with that, too. Yeah. Oh, I got therapy. Is it okay if I come late? You should right. see what I say to myself when I read that from you. <laughs> <laughs> right. tell, tell your therapist you should kill yourself. <laughs> um, so... You guys really, I almost had to cancel on Charles and go, hey, we're not going to do today because I two hours notice. Who the fuck am I going to get? Yeah, it's right. true. Sagalo, as always, steps up to a plate. Right, right. And, well, let's uh, not make me seem like I'm not busy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you just said you walked around all day after the wrong hair. <laughs> it you... is funny to, like, to be in a place <laughs> where they're like, not your appointment, and you're like, I guess I just won't go home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that really is what it is. Because like, you, you if I go home, I'll be upset. <laughs> he flexed on his roommates all day. He's like, got a big slot appointment. He's like, yeah, I can't yeah. come home 10 minutes later. <laughs> yeah, with the same haircut i literally have to walk around until my uh until my appointment tomorrow <laughs> why do you go to a salon instead of a shop you get shorter hair uh i'll tell you why because they first of all they're ladies. they make you rap at the barber shops yeah yeah they go, <laughs> they go are you going through it and i go yeah <laughs> i'm having a psychotic break and they're like freestyle mm, mm, oh. no i'll tell you they're why like, this guy's great <laughs> <laughs> You're jealous because I have multiple talents. I'm jealous and you have multiple, multiple kids. calories. <laughs> <laughs> it is fun to be in the middle of two uh, fat roasts the whole time. I will tell you, it's a good time. Two cows. Did someone say roast? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a courtside seat. To yeah. Like, I actually, today I was like, I was like, uh, because I was kind of making a note. I was like, Saglo is best with somebody else who will make fun of me. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he, could, yeah. he gets a lot of joy out of it. I don't think I've got. I've been with somebody who isn't also making fun of you. And yeah. if if I'm here, I think they're they're like, okay, I guess this is cool, <laughs> and they'll just start making fun of you. This is my love language. You know, this is it. Yeah, yeah. Looking at fat bastards. <laughs> what were you talking about? Uh, uh, why you go to? Why do you like the salon? Oh, the salon. Yeah, the they, salon. Because they massage and rub your hair, and they and they clean your hair and shit. Oh, oh you do the the head back and the yeah. That's literally, and they just they're just kind of they just really take care of it more. <laughs> yeah. Where like I went to barber shops for ten years, mm -hmm. and they were just like well, they're mean. They're like, what do you want? And salons oh. are like, hi. Yeah. What yeah, are yeah, you yeah, doing? Yeah. And they'll like they take care of you. Yeah. My mom is a was a hairstylist. Oh, what happened? Yeah. Um, she lost her uh, hand lost in a big f factory fire. <laughs> yeah, she just quit. Um, but <laughs> the, it's interesting because every time I shampoo my hair, I remember, like, I get that memory of my mom's, like, hands, like, in the fucking bowl in a salon. Nice. Wash my shit. Oh, wow. But she was a real Nazi about hair because she never gave me what I wanted. She, what really? she gave you? Yeah. Uh, I wanted a new dad. <laughs> it's like you're getting a fade. Is that <laughs> you wanted a mom with a respectable job. <laughs> <laughs> no, she would always just give me some lesbian-y cut. You know, mm -hmm. once I once I got in the teen years, that's when she let me do the shit I wanted to do, which was yeah. like red highlights and a faux hawk. And like, <laughs> red highlights. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> I had that's red highlights crazy. there as well. I was listening to Hollywood Undead at the time. Oh my god, Brown, what my, a... my Chemical Romance. Oh yeah, yeah, we were. I wanted my like best friend was like the scene kid. Oh so, boy, I don't even know how that happened. Yeah. He just I made friends with him and then he went into that phase and I guess yeah. I just rode with him. <laughs> was he also into hentai? I feel like those what, kind of overlap. Was the scene that you're talking about a scene from uh, Brokeback Mountain? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're just going to go through each Please. other's journals, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I invite you to my party. You go through my journal. <laughs> that would actually be really fun to do to somebody. Like, go to their house party and then rummage through their <laughs> yeah. shit and get everything. their diary yeah. and be like, you guys, <laughs> like in the middle of the party, now we're having some yeah. fun. Uh, and just yeah. read their fucking diary. That, that's a great idea. Do you have a diary? I have a journal. Really? I like how you, you said that. Like journal? it's a huge. That's those are There's synonyms. A difference. I'm not going. I'm not going. Dear diary. You're going. I, I beat Lev in a fat off. Today. <laughs> <laughs> I ate more. <laughs> Is that going? I'm not going. Dear diary. I'm going. Hello journal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. Salutations journal. Yeah, I have a. Well, I have one. What book. are you writing there? I know it's not jokes. I have a Come on, folks. one book good. that. Uh, we're just going to, you know what? That doesn't count because you interrupted while I was talking. <laughs> so you went, it's like in uh, football where you you, 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 went, you were not at the line or whatever. I don't know about sports, but uh, <laughs> it's like in Harry Potter. <laughs> no. Uh, what the fuck? What was I talking about? How you, how you journal? Oh, yeah. Well, I have like one book that has 
my jokes. <laughs> uh. But it also has like I'll like free ride. So much. <laughs> and my free riding is journal entries. What do you write in there? Like, what's something you would journal? Down? I usually start with how I feel. Today, wrong salon at the wrong time. <laughs> Still not home. <laughs> I'm doing the Lev Fur podcast. Where have? Uh, how? Why? Why am I here? Uh, where did I go wrong? <laughs> Short stories. From yeah. The of the diary. Uh, uh, no, no I just write you... how I feel. You got, you should do that, dude. And you, I know for a fact you do that. You no be, guy yeah. goes to therapy and doesn't journal. <laughs> why do you guys do this? I mean, it's just so gay. Like, why do you guys just sit and... Hold on, don't answer that question. <laughs> you just sit don't like... Know. Yeah, it's not good for you to sit and analyze yourself and your feelings all day long. It's a trap. Do you analyze or you just Hold get on. it out? Okay. Hold on. All right. We have to start letting him just say the stupid shit he says no, go, and sitting in how dumb that sounds. I used to do say that, that same thing again. Don't okay. just don't say anything. I, I just I say th- how you feel. Say how you feel and listen to right how now. You I'm feel. feeling a little attacked. <laughs> no. I mean, look, the most anxious I ever was in my life was when I would do so many check ins with my own emotions in a uh-huh. day. And constantly think about how am I feeling? Am I stressed? Am I anxious? Am I this? That that was the worst I've ever felt in my life. So yeah, just swallow it down. That that works. Yeah, for that, guys. That's just focus good. Yeah, on push the, it down. That that, a, that always works. Don't yeah. push it down. Focus on the world around you. Focus on your goals. Why and can't the stuff I, you want to do? Why can't two things be true? It's friend? hard for me to. Oh, <laughs> and now <laughs> no, we've got to. Come to it. If I spend now a lot of time uh, on is there a mirror me? in here, because somebody needs to take a look. Now we're getting to the real shit. I, it's a problem with you. I think you guys aren't getting what I'm saying. I think, I think for any person, it's unhealthy to spend too much time analyzing. Whoa, it takes ten minutes. Ten time. minutes in the morning. Who says too much time? Yeah, right, maybe, ten, yeah, maybe I'm ten. assigning too much time. Look, next time you uh, write in a book in 2027, um, <laughs> just go. This is how I feel today. I feel anxious because I'm too fat. <laughs> It's a, nap- it's a napkin you're writing on. <laughs> yeah, you're writing with a mustard bottle. <laughs> I'm writing in a stolen menu. <laughs> Always steals the menu. The food doesn't change. 2027. I'm still too fat. You got that yeah, on yeah, your yeah. wall. <laughs> you're like, I've cut my hair. That did nothing for the for the fat. I've stolen many menus, and I still feel. <laughs> Dude, just do it. You'll feel good. But, or, but what is that going to accomplish? What is that going to accomplish for me? I was writing down. I don't know, man. I don't care what you do. <laughs> that is a point to get to when you yeah. Tell me why it helps you. Explain to me why it helps you. I'm genuinely interested. Well, it's kind of meditative okay. in a way because especially if you're free riding, also you get to see your feelings and you get to actually look at them. And I know that's gay. Oh, oh, oh everything's gay. Hey, you said it, sister. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm over here being gay, trying to live healthier, okay? And if that means I got to suck a couple of cocks, <laughs> just mentally, I'm because I'm all fucked up mentally, dude. Dude, are like, you? What, you don't want to yeah. go therapy? You're pretty fucked up physically, too. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, I know that this is going to be a lot of hits, bro. I'm not, I'm not being earnest anymore. No, that's where you get it. <laughs> that's where you get it when, when you're being vulnerable. <laughs> they go, ah, oh, you'll open the doors. <laughs> Let's, no, let's explore this. Like, no, you know. let's not. How about you explore a fucking gym every once in a while? <laughs> We're back. <laughs> Why don't you explore the elliptical? <laughs> Here's the thing. If I like, if I man, did I should that. get fat. It's so fun. You guys <laughs> are having it. It is yeah, fun. It is fun. It's it's fun. It is fun. fun. We wiggle when we laugh. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I think in the day I have three feelings. <laughs> I have, no, I have four feelings throughout. Hungry, hungry, hungry. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Charles? <laughs> yeah, that was a lie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> um, no, I like. I think I wake up and I go, God damn it! I wish I was like. I wish I had any discipline whatsoever. It's three okay. p.m. Okay. I can't even get myself to like. Okay. Leave. And then I go, Holy fuck! I have no fucking money. This might be connected right. to, to the discipline. <laughs> All right. And I go, Holy shit! I feel bad for my poor girlfriend for having to deal with this no money. Undisciplined retard. Yeah. Then I shower. I <laughs> then you shower. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Once then the... you shower. Then they hose you down. <laughs> Do you wake up sweating that like that? Those are horrible. No, no. Um, <laughs> I sleep upside down, <laughs> so it drains. <laughs> and, uh... all, all the brown <laughs> liquid drains from my pores <laughs> and I store in the wall. <laughs> so then I sh- Then I get ready for the day. My girlfriend comes home. I say goodbye and try not to be too mean. Wait. About so where that's all you did from? during the day? That's it. Yeah. You just wallow. I did laundry too. Yeah. You wallow and you and then you shower and then you do spots at night. Yeah, 
then then I go to like a comedy club, try I, to get up. No, I do get up <laughs> with the help of a team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the team is you barking outside. <laughs> <laughs> See the fat thing you're you're not insecure about, but I start talking about like comedy, you know, and you're like, work, it's a pretty cool it hit, I'm actually yeah. doing better. <laughs> yeah, I heard. I heard you do your plugs and then not ask us for hours. Yeah, they're, they're coming. Like, they're no, coming. they aren't coming. To be um, honest, no, they're. Coming. I got nothing. <laughs> so then, then I uh, talk to comics and secretly feel. Uh, bitter because I feel like they're not working very hard. Sure, and I'm like, why? Are, and I'm like, you, you're bad at this. Oh, why comics are, are doing better. Put no this down comics on that paper. are worse. I'm oh, like, okay. why? Stop talking to me. Like I, I try work very hard at this, and then uh, which is not good. There's unhealthy emotions. Then I get home and uh, I'm up till about six a.m. <laughs> just, just avoiding life, and uh, that's kind of it. And that's every day. Hmm. Now, if I wrote no, that down, who good. would that help? I don't know. Forensics? I'm just excited. It helps me, but I also am excited. I like to read it later and like years later. That like, is fun. And, and, and you're calling this gay from the guy who made a fucking documentary at 20 years old. I was 19! <laughs> being, like, being like, I'm going to document myself every year. That's kind of what this is. Yeah. You're journaling. You're and it was feeling... gay when I did it. <laughs> and it's <laughs> gay when you're doing that's it. That's true. That was a terrible argument on my behalf. <laughs> that's, that's 100% true. But I do. I'll like read... Um, you know, if I fe if I felt away at some point, and then you look at it and you go, "Oh, I'm totally over this." Yeah, but this is like a. It's kind of interesting. You go, "That was a different person." Yeah, I was just a different guy. So you're basically building like a narcissistic museum of you. Yeah, it's, yeah. That's you exactly. Get to go what back I'm and doing. be like, I'm, "I'm way cooler than this guy." Yeah, I'm yeah. doing it so that my inevitable death, um, possibly people will be interested in reading it. Probably not. <laughs> But where are you? Let maybe. me. What are you doing? Is this paper? Is this computer? Paper. Paper. Nice. Paper. I like writing it down. Yeah. But do you feel like uh, because you think this might be for the death, you kind of have to up the stakes as you're writing? There's it? a little. There's a little bit of performance. Yeah. Which you have to kind of like <laughs> go. At, you, like I'm like writing in a very performative way. This and is I'm the like, most gay theater. I, it is. Shit I ever. know. I know. I know. But I actually stopped doing that because I'm like, let me write to. May, like have a thought of what if nobody reads this which is probably the outcome yeah so now i write like nobody reads it and uh except i don't put my fucking did you guys watch that nick documentary yeah that nick documentary one? yeah where the one there's a point this is where journals get dangerous yeah you, this is where they get not gay. when you're agreeing with the director no when <laughs> one of the guys in the journal goes like guess i'm a full-blown pedophile he wrote yeah. that yeah he was like, guess i'm a full-blown oh, pedophile wow. I... and then the cops were like your honor <laughs> Here, read page two. <laughs> That's not, he signed it. Yeah. What? He went like, I'm a full-blown pedophile and I need to rape or something like that. Wow. You oh, know, if no. I ever write anything crazy, I do it on the computer, I still delete it. I just yeah. make a I quick mean, phone I... call. <laughs> <laughs> Destroy the journal. <laughs> <laughs> Shred them. Come on, folks. I don't know, man. I don't care what you do, but but try it. You know, I'll never. Do it that. is good. I'm, you why? Know, uh, why? Hey, Can you, I tell you the real reason? Well, let me tell you. How do you write? Do you write? I put it in a notes. You a put notes it in your notes on your phone. What? Just a bullet point. Uh, now I am a little more militant about the words. Mm -hmm. This is what you do. You go, and uh, <laughs> so why don't they make the whole thing out of the <clears throat> the plane? Why don't they make the whole thing out of the black box? <clears throat> That's that's my impression of you writing, you fat fuck. That was so <laughs> hurtful. He kind of took me there. I felt like that I was, was so hurtful. Was that too much? And so accurate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I picture you eating like ringdings while What's you're writing. A ring -ding? It's like a little uh, like a little Debbie. One yeah, of the, one like, of the uh, we grew up, we grew up playing ring ding ditch. <laughs> me and the other boys. Oh yeah, that was always fun to do. Yeah, or TP in the homes. We never did that. Really? Oh, no. no. yeah. We never TP'd homes either. Yeah. The you did oh. that? Oh, yeah. Really? We broke It's crazy mailboxes. you guys didn't do that. We you drove guys... around breaking mailboxes and stuff. Did you egg egg the homes? Uh, No. No, no because there are... I'll tell you why, because there was... Brendan a... grew up walking around breaking sidewalks. <laughs> <laughs> you broke... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> when Lev gets up in the morning, I heard a really, go. I heard a really funny fat, uh, like yo, mama's so fat. Yeah. Someone goes, your mama's so fat. Uh, when she gets, she when she gets up in the morning, she gets up in parts or something like that. It was <laughs> really funny. funny. <laughs> um, yeah, we used to, we used to, we never did eggs because there was a kid in the grade below us that uh, 
What are you laughing at? <laughs> what did you? It's like everything you needed out say because you wanted to test all the eggs. Yeah. <laughs> let me see if this one's good to throw. <laughs> I just let it go. It's <laughs> <laughs> a raw egg. <laughs> <laughs> there was a kid in the grade below me that got hit with an egg in the face, and then he went blind. What? Really? In one eye, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, a shell? He got, he got a shell in, in the oh. eye. Yeah. Ooh, so we were all kind of like, ooh, shit wow. got real. That is eye catching. Wow. <laughs> Come on. Wait. Was that, did Mark Wahlberg throw that? <laughs> oh, yeah. He did do that, didn't he? People yeah. forget. He, yeah. he took a Vietnamese guy's eye out. <laughs> yeah. 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 I would love, there's never been a testimony on the set guy. of Ted. In like the most <laughs> <laughs> racist way, too. Like, it wasn't even like, guys, it wasn't racist. I just was a fucking criminal. Yeah. It literally was yeah. like, look at that fucking Asian it, guy. It, Let's throw shit at he's him. He's like, you don't use his eyes anyway. <laughs> yeah, he Might was like, well Let's make him see less. Yeah. Bless what up. A, Stay blessed up. I think he was like 19 at the time or something when he did it. Yeah, sure. That's the, that's around the age where people make horrible mistakes. Like, uh, yeah. crimes, oh, yeah. documentaries, yeah. there's all kinds of uh, <laughs> mishaps. Uh, uh, careers. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's do plugs real quick for, for the boys. What do you guys got cooking? Um, you know, Instagram and Twitter is where you can find all my clips and shit. And uh, I should have more of that coming up because I'm seeing a first draft of my special. Nice. That is supposed to be coming out. Finally finished everything. We, I made like a song for it and everything. So that should. That's the hardest part of the special. <laughs> Literally hardest, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you <laughs> fucking. <laughs> uh, That's what Louis told me. He's like, just make sure your song is good. It's fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you would have got some red reddits. Like... Anyway, so check out my YouTube and all that stuff because that's where I'm going to be maybe putting the special up, probably most likely. Yeah. And I got another podcast coming out called Sag Daddy to Pod, and uh, we got we just. Made a couple episodes of that, so be on the lookout for that Fuck yeah. on my YouTube. Uh, what's the style of the show? Uh, it's just a couple of girls talking about sex. <laughs> 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 talking about guys we fucked. Call me Saggy. Call me Saggy. Call me Saggy. Sags we fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, Charles, what's going on, baby? Uh, yeah, I'll be just in Arizona House of Comedy, I think, in the first week of May. But then, uh, yeah, you can just... Uh, Instagram, YouTube, all Charles Ingle, and then I have a funny comedy history podcast called Overshadowed. So that's fun. Nice. Oh, yeah. What's that one about? Uh, it's about the it's siblings of people who change history. So Whoa. it's like a little mostly most things happen because of the sibling. Are you uh, is like the last episode you want to get like your your Omega guest like Hitler's brother? Or yeah, something like that. there's there's five left. That's where you end. There's really? five, there's five and Hitler's they all made left? a pact to not have kids. Great, that's awesome. Yeah. Wow. Why? Because the, they're, uh, I think they're superstitious and that they're, they're still in us. Oh fuck. Yeah. Do you think they made a pact, or the government was like, "We won't kill you <laughs> yeah. if you just"? How's this not a movie? Stop. That's fascineing. What that are they so have a secret kid? You gotta have yeah. them all on, like how That'd like when the when late shows have like ensembles on and they're oh, like yeah. the, like rows of three. Yeah. You gotta have that. <laughs> That would be very the cool. Hitlers. Yeah. That yeah. Fascinating. I never yeah. even knew he had any siblings. You always assume Hitler was an only child. I could be wrong with the number, but I... I Why do you assume that? Just because he's... I mean, he's overshadowing... Uh, there we go. There we go. Like, Listen to the pod. He's overshadowing so hard, like, you just think, who's following that? You know? He's just such a yeah. huge... Uh, I think they're all just regular people, yeah. It'd I be can... funny if one tried <laughs> to, like, maybe I could also do. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Lev is, Lev is, uh, I, I do like the theory of of thinking that Hitler's like an only child because you're like he just wanted some friends. <laughs> he he never Seinfeld. felt like <laughs> he just wanted some friends. What's the deal? Did you see Seinfeld talking about uh kind of anti PC yeah, culture yeah. and all that stuff? Yeah, that's so funny to me. Why, Be, dude? People like that, like that whole anti PC kind of stuff, where it's like, I don't know, this might make me sound like a libtard or whatever, but like you use a Mac. What? <laughs> Mac and cheese. Because <laughs> you're anti PC, folks. Come on, Come on folks. <laughs> <At home>. Folks. <laughs> <laughs> the folks get sadder. Come on, <laughs> folks. <laughs> folks. <laughs> folks. I just think like that whole thing is like not as real as everybody thinks it is. Well, it's it's uh, it's over. It's all over. Yeah. Both was... PC ness and Hollywood is over. Right. Yeah. It's all done. I just think I think there is a level of that where. <laughs> It's like, you know, there is, it does exist, but there are people, there are comedians that just think that, like, it's so prevalent in their life where yeah. it's like, it's us against them. Yeah. And it's like, it really isn't like that. It's like, okay, you know, you can't say 
on NBC or whatever. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. like it, everything is kind of where it should be. Stand yeah, you can are still do whatever yeah. the fuck they want on yeah, stage. Right. And stand ups yeah. are not supposed to be in the establishment. They're supposed to be out of it. Like there's not a yeah. lot of stuff on TV that comics can do. That's right. just what it is. You know? Yeah. Like, a, it's a shame though, because you're actually a very good actor. Underrated actor. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you were great and yeah, precious. <laughs> nice. Nice, dude. I was just about to insult you. You really got it. I was going to go, yeah, I'm acting like I'm having a good time here right now. <laughs> yeah, that's that's that funny. Good too, that's yeah. funny. It would have been good. Uh, yeah, so check out, uh, check out. They got both of you got podcasts coming out. By the way, thank you so, so much to everybody that's been uh, leaving comments on the episodes. I really appreciate you guys helping us in the algo. Um, new stand up clips coming out everywhere soon. I might drop a full set shortly and uh, we're probably going to ring the stream. You should drop back. a couple of fucking sets. <laughs> <laughs> I you should do a set a day. <laughs> <laughs> what does that why, say? Why even plug the soundboard in? <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> why, why the why fuck was that so low? Because it's not plugged in. It's not plugged <laughs> in. You just yeah. heard the speaker of that. That's hilarious. <laughs> no, dude. we don't need it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. This smoke break is brought to you by YoDelta.com, the official getting high sponsor of the Gas Digital Network. No, she. Let, let it be. That's. Oh, it's, oh dead. it's dead. Right. We got we got tech. Oh, so get this. Speaking of Seinfeld, um, he just did a movie about the Pop Tart. Yeah, I bet. Oh boy, it's coming out. Damn. Um, Does he ever give that one a rest? <laughs> that Pop Tart. Yeah, I mean, this he's is always Jesus not gonna. Christ. Yeah, it's so funny to pr- be promoting uh, like your Pop Tart movie and being like, it's the woke that are ruining comedians. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. No, he's I'm been, probably wrong. I was just taking a big gulp. Oh. Uh, when are you not? Shut the uh, fuck up. Yeah, yeah. So, so, that would have been easy. Yeah. He uh, he, he was, t- the, he's making this, I mean, he's got this like autistic fixation on this Pop-Tart that he's had for his entire it's like life. like the oldest. It's crazy. <laughs> it's like, like, What's blue? your favorite Pop-Tart? Ooh. I've never really liked any of them. Whoa. I thought they're all just. Have you tried freezing any of them? What? No. I thought hmm. even the good ones are just okay. Well, you're not supposed to put the whole thing in your mouth at once. <laughs> <laughs> With the foil. <laughs> yeah, I'm just yeah. doing what your mom taught me. <laughs> 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 uh, Hilarious, dude. I needed a way out. Always kills. Back against the wall. <laughs> Always kills. Um, My, now, you know what the problem with like Pop-Tart the is? Cinnamon the, one. Everything cinnamon. outside of this little middle <laughs> is dog shit. It's all like cardboard all around. Yeah. It. Yeah. Stinks. Yeah. That's why you got to take big bites. Yeah. You know. Or break it in half. No. Cinnamon rolls. Oh are wow, good. I haven't had that. Cinnamon one. rolls are good. You guys are like into the pop. S'mores are good. S'mores. The are s'mores amazing. one are really a good. Oreo. I was a toaster strudel kid. Shout out to the chat. I never like. Yeah, I didn't do strudels. The strudel was nice. Strudel yeah, was I nice. never. I didn't like the strudel. I don't like. I don't like anything with like jelly in it. Yeah, me too. No? Or what? like, or like some sort of like apple yeah, s- yeah, sauce yeah. or whatever yeah. the fuck. I hated that. Uh, I'm way more into those things than like that fucking dry shit in a pop tart. I'm I'm probably, like, I think it's like a fun breakfast if you're like on the go. When's the last like, time fuck. you had a Pop Tart? I don't know, maybe like a year ago. I haven't had it in a long time. That seems so recent to me. I would think that's like a thing you don't have <laughs> since until, like after like a 12. field trip. Well, sometimes <laughs> yeah, you're like, just like, you know, I don't know if you're like driving on the road and you mm-hmm. want to take you go you want to get a couple of snacks and stuff. I'll get like beef jerky, a Pop Tart. Yeah, you know, I'll rob the place. <laughs> <laughs> Give me all your Pop Tarts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now. Sorry, you can take them for free. Yeah. I want <laughs> a strong arm robbery. <laughs> Two apple pecan, <laughs> one cinnamon roll. <laughs> uh, man. Yeah, I haven't. Had, so anyway, so this reminded me. He had Hugh Grant in this film he's doing. So As Tony the Tiger. Yeah. So Hugh Grant, I was reading like on Reddit, people were saying like there's all these rumors around that he's like the biggest asshole in the world. Like in, it while he's working with people on sets, like people have like literally walked off sets being like, I won't work with him. Like mm. a, like A-list really? actors. That's the word. And they say like like literally in the middle of a scene, he'll like stop and be like, You fucking call that acting. Like he's That's like hilarious. A, he's like a nightmare to work with. He's known for this. Who'd, who would stop a scene to be like, You fucking suck? So this is what I was thinking about. So and then I remember for months I heard that and I was like, Oh wow, this guy seems like a fucking dickhead, you know? Mm. And then I heard the story that apparently the way he got the Tony the Tiger role, he called Seinfeld and was like Hey, I heard about this role. I want to do it. He's like, I'm going to send you a tape and all this stuff. And he goes, but I have to warn you, like, I'm really 
going to be a nightmare to work with on this. I like that. <laughs> and he ended up giving him the part, and he got the role. And he and Seinfeld said like he was such a pain in the ass, but like I enjoyed that. And he's like, whatever. Why so, was he such a pain in the ass though? He was like that difficult to work. So with? I'm watching another interview of just him, and he's explaining like it's a, he's like I'm actually a very miserable person, and he's like just telling this in an interview. He's like I'm a really miserable guy. Like I'm, I spread negativity everywhere. This is what I do. And I went from going like, wow, what a fucking asshole to I saw myself in him mm -hmm. and then I realized, oh, I'm Hugh Grant. Yeah. I was like, that's me. I'm a miserable. You're huge Grant. <laughs> <laughs> we need a bell in here. <laughs> a cowbell. <laughs> we got the cow. <laughs> got a so, but then I realized I go, oh wow, like I was saying fuck that guy because I'm like, people shouldn't be that. And then I realized like that's me. Yeah. I'm the guy who's like, you call that comedy? Right. Like, or like. Well, that is something that's kind of endearing about you is that, like, you'll call people out, which is really fun. People don't like it. You said. People, do like it. people do not like it. Wait, no. so someone will get off stage and you'll be like, what the fuck was that? Well, like, haven't you called out people before? I don't know if you want to say any, like, names or anything, but haven't you, like, called someone out to their face in the green room and been like. Yeah, a hundred times, but like. Like, you just do impressions. Haven't you just said that to someone or something? I haven't said that, but I've said much meaner things than that. But here's my thing. I am such a f little fucker about <laughs> comedy, and it's like it's it's like a problem. It's right. like like I I just it why just, is it a problem? Because I shouldn't act this way. And then the other part of me is like, who the fuck do you think you are? Like mm. I don't like you know what I mean. Like, don't invalidate your feelings, homeboy. It's just I. It, it's not. You're, you're allowed to hate. Oh. You're allowed to but hate. But I should be hating openly. <laughs> and hate, like, hate openly. Who cares? Peep, that is, what are you afraid of? That it's, that that it's going to get any worse than this? It's not that I'm afraid <laughs> of anything. It's that I just know it's wrong. I know it's wrong. What's wrong about do. it? You should hate privately. Why? Because that's just what everyone tells me. <laughs> when you're there, there it that's is. What everyone tells me is, yeah, I agree, but don't say yeah. this out loud. And here. why do people say it? Why are people saying it? Because it'll cost you opportunities. What opportunities? I don't know. <laughs> I don't this is know. a good little therapy session. No, but I, this is the other thing. It does attract more negativity to your life. Like, it word get, it gets around, then you, this person's like, but, yo, do you not like me or something? Like, you, I don't want any of that. Mm. That's the other thing. It creates more. Why not? What's, isn't that fun? Enjoy it. Misery, like, you attracts don't like me? misery. No, I don't like you. Then what? Now where are we? I could do that. I could I do that all day. But if I just walk around life being a miserable person, I will trap myself. Pulling in just well, misery you, at all. Are times. you miserable or do you, uh, just about comedy? Like other comedians? It's just about comedy. It's well, then, just yeah, about that's... what I think is like people not taking it very seriously. That's that, that's it. That do just hold, annoys how, me. But how, that's often, like, how long do you hold on? Like I'll hate somebody and then I have to tell myself, like, just I don't really hold on. I'm just but like why? a dick. I just like why are you guys trying off? to avoid like, a feeling that is a natural feeling that humans have? Have the hate feeling, have the negative feeling. It's all write it down in a journal. Why don't you pick up a pen for once? <laughs> you know, Stab you put the, the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make this pen disappear. <laughs> I don't know. I have it, Whatever. but then it's, I switch you know. it. I don't want it to affect like too much. Like I'll have it for a couple of minutes. I'll be like, Jesus Christ, and then I'll just be like, All right, let it go. I don't want to. Why let it go? I. You know what I think it is? I think it's like if you're like trying to be like the best at a thing. Like let's, let's say you're like a welder, and you're like. I want to be the fucking best welder. Like, I want to really do impressive work. That's what I want to do. That's a joyless journey. It's joyless. Because even when you nail it, you're like, okay, now I need to do that again. Right. Like, there's no pleasure in it. And then if you go see some other person, like, it's not even, instead of welding, they're like, where are you from? You're right. like, <laughs> you're like... All right. Well, they have a million uh, <laughs> welder fans. Yeah, yeah. They do. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. like the biggest welder in the world. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, right, right. But right. it's funny because I'm not even like that about people. I don't get jealous of people <laughs> ahead of me or doing better than me. I don't care. Like it's to me, it's it's just about the work, mm. and that's just a really pretentious, miserable I brain just, space that I'm just trapped in all the time. I hate it. I like, don't know, man. I think it's perfectly fine. Because it's not, it is, it's, an, it's just a normal feeling. I'm sure there's stuff that make you happy that when you're happy, you're not going, you're not going like, well, look at me happy. You're just happy. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're not going like, you know, when you feel bad or, or hate somebody or something. I'm trying to think of when I'm happy. <laughs> At the drive through <laughs> yeah, There we go. <laughs> What's taking so fucking long? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're like, hi. They're like, Lev again. What's up? <laughs> nice of you to do a Third circle. Yeah. Yeah. Did we forget something? <laughs> Yeah, it's just... I don't know. I think it's, like, it's fine. It's just, I have, like, a... 
I don't know. I don't know. Fighting those feelings are going to make you feel worse. But it comes in and out. Like, I have periods where I, I can just focus on myself and the work, but... Right. I'm just an asshole. That's really the explanation. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just an asshole. That's all it is. But what makes you an asshole? I smell it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I Nobody think, wants uh, to look at I me. think you're living in this world that doesn't exist. It's, you know, you're like... You're like I'm an asshole, but your own. But why? You're you're putting yourself down, and if you tracked, if you went, well, why? Why that? Why yeah, then yeah. that? You'd actually probably be like, oh, I'm not an asshole. Here's why I'm an asshole. It's because I'm, I, I think, to most people, I don't know. I bet it's like a fifty fifty. I think you're either gonna have a, a nice experience with me, or you're gonna have an un, like a kind of unpleasant one where you're like, "That guy's kind of a dick," right? And I think that's a bad ratio. <laughs> I think that's a really bad ratio. Like I but, think, but mo- who are like you a comparing nice it person, to? Like I'm just not like a nice person. You know what I mean? Yes, you are. You're being nice yeah, to me nice right because now. I like you guys. You're in the so? small window of people. So I what do you? Like. That's that's what, what people do. Yeah. If you don't like somebody though, what? Uh, like a nice you're person saying that is you can't pleasant hide it. with everyone. They're pleasant with eighty percent of people. You just want to be liked. I don't even care about. I, I no. I do. I want my work to be good enough that it's respected. I don't really care too much about. Well, forget work. all that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a deal in the fantasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that'll take years. <laughs> I don't, like I don't know. I just feel like I'm. You want someone to come up to you and go, Lev, I like you so much, and you're the best comedian in the world. <laughs> And your dad likes you as well. Can we clip this? <laughs> <laughs> just privately. Just send this to me. <laughs> no, things are fine with the family. Everything's fine. I don't know. Life is just kind of like. Right. It's just kind of. It's kind of gray. It's that's what it gray. is. Yeah, but that's. Yeah. yeah. That's what it is, man. Life sucks. Yeah, it, I but sometimes say it, it does. Sucks. It's just like it's just. No, it sucks. Life is like a flight. <laughs> it's just like you're in, you're just in a flight for your whole life. Like that's just what it feels like. It's like <laughs> just kind of inconvenient. Like all you the time. think like I'm, I shouldn't be on the ground where I'd be happy, and then you're on the ground, and you're not that happy. Like it's just <laughs> you're just not that happy. You know what I mean? And it's and I think like being happy is also like ridiculous. Like who do you think you are? You're like, looking at happiness like it's a, just a state of being. It, happiness and anger and sadness and it's yeah. all just motions that are constantly flowing through you and can change it in a second. You know what I mean? I'm just I'm just trying to think of when I was happy. I was I think I was happy when I did Molly. Not even happy. I think I was just like right energized. Yeah, in a good mood. Well, you did crack. <laughs> <laughs> like I think last happy, time I was really you know happy I mean? is when I was doing crack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of when when's the last time I was happy. Do you do uh, the grateful? That's what everybody says to do. What the fuck do is the, that? The name five things you're grateful for every morning and all that. No, this guy definitely doesn't do that. He's no. like frosted flakes, uh, <laughs> Cheerios. Uh, <laughs> he's starting to name all right, five let me do cereals. Brendan's. Sushi boats. <laughs> <laughs> Sushi boats. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I like the food you can order in a boat. That's always really funny. <laughs> this is what's like, this to me is the fun of life, though. Yeah. It's like that it's just yeah, kind of Yeah, you're having shitty. fun right now, yeah. right? Yeah. I think you're avoiding, because I do the same thing. That's I'm talking to myself right now. Yeah. I think you avoid negative feelings. And that's not going to, and, and doing that is making you like, oh, I'm angry and I'm miserable because you're ignoring it. But if you just went head head first into the uncomfortableness of that shit, you'd be more aggressive. You'd be better at stand up. You'd be better at the business of stand up. I think you'd be like clear headed. I don't know? know that I avoid negatives. I think I just chase quick dopamines though. Like, oh yeah, that's like everybody. The... Yeah, I have to work on that so much, bro. Even like stand up, like stand up's like not fun. Like stand up is like. I am trying to Yeah, work. when you're in your audience. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, stand-up is like, <laughs> I am trying to work at an extremely high level, and I really hope I can make myself satisfied with this set, yeah. and I'm probably going to fall a little bit short, and then I can analyze and go. But that's like, it's like a job. Like, th- what else like makes you like feel great? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like... My, I think it's literally my cat. My cat's like the Love one. Go. Love you got a cat. cat. You gotta yeah, have a cat. You got yeah. Your cat. yeah. I come home. I just want to squeeze the shit out yeah. of him. Well, what do you think it's supposed to be? I think it's supposed to be this. I think it's supposed to be this until you have kids, and then once you have kids, you just fall away, and sure. it's yeah. just about you, just you don't move think upstate you're gonna be a little bit. Any less? Just because I don't. You, I, I think and, I, and I'm not still unhappy. Have your by problems, the way. even if you have kids. 
Sure, but I I'm not unhappy. I just like <laughs> Dad hates me. Is he really? Is he yeah, brutally he's, honest? Yeah, about he, it? yeah. He's like I did stand up for Dad and uh, did not go well. <laughs> <laughs> it was my first time. I'm seven. He says I'm a huge hack. <laughs> he said it's just because he really cares, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do, boys. I mean, yeah, I just. I uh, mean, I feel fine. You know, it's just like. Would I like to? I think like the big thing. Would I like to make more money and be in shape? Sure. Would I like to have? Mm-hmm. <laughs> if anybody could make that happen, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, but otherwise, like I think it, my life is just going to be kind of like this until sure. I fall over and die. Like sure. it's just going to be this, which is fine. I mean, yeah, it, it, yeah, yeah, yes. You know, <laughs> it's going to be that until you're dead. <laughs> You said that like you're gonna guarantee. Hey, I'm telling you. <laughs> you start asking people where they're from, your life's gonna drastically change. <laughs> but you, I think I, I do think though, and this is the problem with me being an asshole about like comedy and all this shit, and just being a dickhead. I don't think it's gonna change. Like I think that's something in my nature that's so in my DNA that like I just can't. Well, I'll I mean, always revert back. Does that, to that. benefit you on stage? It's yeah, it makes thing. me work harder. Yeah, yeah, it makes me go that you call that a fucking set, and then it, that helps me do enjoy it, bro. That's who you are. Enjoy it. Maybe yeah, one day you'll wake up and you'll be like, Kevin Brennan. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I like Kevin, but and I, Kevin's funny, but I kind of, I'm just kind of seeing the writing on the wall for myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you might get hit by a bus tomorrow. Yeah, and then the bus will sue. Yeah. <laughs> and then everybody on the bus dies. <laughs> You're totally fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, so this is the wormhole I fell in from a Hugh Grant promotional video. <laughs> so, I totally get that, dude. You like watch something and then you your whole life of horribleness flashes <laughs> before your eyes. So you gotta uh, stay offline. Yeah. What are you gonna do? What I mean, but that's do? Dude, people like uh like uh, I heard some comics talking the other day being like, you, you know, you're gonna spend like eighty percent of your life on your phone. Like that's what the data shows. I'm like, that sounds great to me. Yeah, I love that. I love being on my phone. It's so fun. There's Do all you, this information. Like I love it. I love sitting there reading bullshit, listening to audiobooks. Half listen to audiobooks while looking at Reddit bullshit. What audiobooks are you listening to? I just started Mind Hunter. Nice. Yeah. What's that about? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> you about Reddit on off. <laughs> it's uh, the guy, you know, the Netflix show Mindhunter. Uh-uh. Oh, the serial killer. Yeah, it's stuff? about like uh, oh, wow. serial killer, like uh, pathology. That's like how they identify based on like how the crime scene looks, like what this guy's job might be. Oh, he... like the forensics of it. All? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, it's interesting. yeah, it's interesting, and it's also like pretty gruesome. So it like kind of holds my interest a little oh, bit. That's yeah. cool. You know what I mean? And the, and you're listening to the audio, so he's like, the body was disfigured. Yeah, yeah. The Oh, that's got to be tough on the subway. If it, that uh, you ever had the headphones accidentally disconnect and it plays what no. you're listening to? Oh God, oh, it's the worst. <laughs> I had one time I went to uh, the Apple Store because my notebook or my my fucking MacBook was uh, the keyboard fucked up. Ah. So and I was like, hey, these like keys are like really fucked up. They're not typing, whatever. So this this uh, black lady's helping me out, <laughs> and she's like, okay, we'll I'll go like bring it to the back. We'll work on it. I'm just standing there, just like looking around. She's like, boy, this thing is covered in <laughs> semen. <laughs> this thing's got come all over, it, man. I ain't gonna tell you which letters don't work no more, but <laughs> <laughs> so she comes back out. You see that white boy out there, the one who looks like a plumber that ate his tools? He's coming all <laughs> over this keyboard, man. She comes out all of a sudden, like ve- something's wrong. Like she's avoiding eye contact. She's looking oh, away. She has like a nervous blush on her face, and I'm like. Oh shit! Like I immediately pick up with the energy. Then I realize as she hands me my laptop, my notes are open. That's oh. how they test the keyboards. They open the notes and they keep working on it, working on oh, it. Oh wow! All the notes on the side are like anal, mom dead, like just Whoa. fucking you know joke bullets. But it's all like the worst things you could ever read. Like right, and she, clearly they were reading all that in the back and going like, who the fuck is this? Right, yeah, people start to I evacuate. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. It I, was and every I, time someone's found my notebook, they're always like, I found your like joke notebook. Thing. Oh really? They always know it's like a joke book thing. <laughs> I'm going to kill everyone I've ever met. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sweet tag. <laughs> it was funny because uh, like right, I was like, oh, I'm a comedian. Like I was, I was like, fuck. And she was like, uh-huh. And oh, it, you said something? Yeah, it, you tried it was, to... It was so uncomfortable, man. And really? Then, oh, yeah. And you I was weren't, like, like, laughing at all about that? I would, wanted it to be that, but I was also, like, 20 at the time. and like uh, You were yeah. working on your next documentary. <laughs> <laughs> 
We cut. We come in from a fade out. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, dead. <laughs> so, what was funny is that this particular Apple store, uh, there was like a giant glass staircase, like in the middle. Oh the, wow! The, the place was built like huge glass staircase. Everything was around the staircase, like on both levels. Right? Mm. There's this some asshole I see. He's like some sixty year old guy, long hair. He looks like Rick Rubin. He has this vase that's like I'm not kidding you, like five feet tall. Like, he clearly uh, yeah. is just some rich in the asshole Apple store. in the Apple store, just walking around. He's clearly just some asshole who just went to some boutique or some shit and bought this huge vase, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> and it looks insane. It's like you're carrying the biggest vase I've ever seen, like, all around the <laughs> store. It looks like an ancient Mayan vase. And he's just walking around, <laughs> walking around, right? And I remember, like, noting it and being like, that is so, that's like an absurdly big vase. Dude, right? how bad did you want to just, like, knock it out of his hand? Uh, well, get right? this. Get this. All of a sudden, no way. We hear the no biggest way. crash we have ever heard. Whoa. And I hear somebody go, ah, 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 and then like the biggest bang ever, right? The whole Apple store, everybody, I'm um, upstairs, everybody goes running to the middle to see what the fuck happened. Right. Everybody's overlooking. This one asshole is on the floor in the middle of the stairs. His vase is everywhere. Whoa. It's all over. <laughs> oh, my God. He was going down the stairs and he slipped. Dude. So, dude, he hit the fucking stairs. Sorry, it's chunks of glass right, like this. Right, He chipped through the fucking oh. glass, like four inches into the glass step, chipped out, and he's on the floor. Like, it was just. Oh, my God. He had that covered. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, cut. Did he say anything? If you're getting a vase, I think you have to order it online, like to your house. This was like some kind of, This was like some. I'm going to this specialty Soho collection vase. Like, uh, just some asshole. Yeah, the wife probably wanted it and was like, here, take this, walk around, don't oh, drop it, I'll right. be back. Right. It was it was awesome. It was really awesome. It is fun. Oh I, that is that is uh, shitty, but the most fun is when you see other people get like hurt or inconvenienced. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Every oh, yeah. time you see one of those guys on those uh, electric unicycles, don't you just watch a little bit longer? Oh yeah, those, those guys electric are so dangerous. You know oh, what I'm yeah. one wheels. Yeah, 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 one wheels. One wheels. That's you just want to see them smack. That's yeah, crazy. I was riding my motorcycle like on a on a nice Sunday. I was just strolling around like up in the fucking like near Harlem, by the waters, just having a great ride. This dude on one of those one wheels goes like flying past me on the right side, and I'm like, Whoa. Jesus Christ! I'm like, he's got to be like <laughs> fifty or some shit, right? Get up another forty feet. He slammed into a Mini Cooper, and he's oh just on the ground. God. Oh my god! And I'm riding past the lady in the Mini Cooper. Is like, oh my. god. <laughs> like she's like losing it. She doesn't realize what just happened. You just right? bring violence where you go. <laughs> yeah, there's a vase all over the street. Yeah, yeah. Have you um get this though really quick? I'm I'm like, Jesus Christ. So, so it's 2001, 9 11 <laughs> I'm standing by the buildings. <laughs> I'm on this, I'm on United Three. This guy's got a huge base. <laughs> so I, I'm like, holy fuck. I'm like, well, that kid had that company. You don't go speeding like that. I keep driving. He passes me again five minutes later. Whoa, flying past wow. He got up and it was just like, oh, I learned nothing from that. Just kept going. Well, there's like a, because um, I know a guy that does that, and he always says that it's kind of like, you get like a rush from riding one of those. Oh, things. yeah. Because you're going so fast. And there's this like. And e there's danger. It, yeah, exactly. It, it yeah. feels. Uh, have you fallen on your bike yet? No. No. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Knock on wood, knock on wood. It's easy when it's repoed. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, avoid it. <laughs> no, I got to do a bunch of shit to it before um, before I start taking it back out. But honestly, lately, I, A, I have no money, and B, I also need to walk everywhere. Right. I'm trying to fucking get these steps in, you know? Right. Doing everything I can. I go to salons on the wrong day. I <laughs> spend the whole day outside. <laughs> I'm locked out. <laughs> do you guys watch the Fallout show? No, I no. didn't see that. Oh yet. my god, man. I played the game, so it. I'm like kind uh, of Dude, you'd love it. I don't know. I'm like kind of like not I look at it and I'm like, eh, I don't really you know. Uh, but everybody's like, yeah, it's like a ninety nine percent. It's great. It's three everything. weeks in a row I'm trying to talk about the show to somebody. Nobody's seen it yet? Nobody has seen it. Everybody I've had on has not seen it. Hmm. Everybody's talking about it. Yeah. It's a great show. Yeah. It's like not like Game of Thrones great where like the writing is like so tight. But it's a little campy, but it's fucking good. Man. It's campy. It's like corny. It's a like a, bit. the tiniest touch campy, but it's mostly cool. So it like outweighs it. What would you do if there was kind of like a nuclear blast? I'd assume you farted. <laughs> <laughs> it was a cute one. <laughs> it was a cute one for the folks at home. I actually, I am like delusional. So I think I would like fare pretty well. 
mm. in a scenario like that. Like, I think I have an animal in me. Yeah, you got a ton of animals in you. Cows, <laughs> chicken, lamb, veal. Greens, <laughs> potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Rams, ham, hogs. <laughs> uh, I'll check the show out. I'm yeah. just, you know. Yeah, Walton Goggins is great in it. That sounds like what they call your neck. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. You're not gonna talk me out of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll let we'll let a uh, Walton Goggins. We'll let the YouTube comments decide on that. <laughs> Walt a Walton Goggins. <laughs> I love that guy though. He he's a really good actor. He's great actor. He's great yeah. in like Vice Principals and stuff like that. Bro, acting is really fucking hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm acting like I'm having a good time right now. I was literally gonna throw that to you. <laughs> <laughs> Got it out. Got it out. Um <laughs> Nat, did you notice all the freaking titties out today? I oop, bring me up a little. I will say I did notice all the freaking oh titties out today. Wow. I wonder... As a girl and someone who's into girls, nice. I'm like, oh, it's that season. Here's yeah. my suspicion, and this might be wrong, but I bet that when Natalie, a bisexual <laughs> just like you're saying it in court as yeah. a, like the you wanna, Natalie is a bisexual like woman in, she's a bisexual like in sexual. To Kill a Mockingbird <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> by the way please you sound like the guy who was like talking to Mark Zuckerberg about Facebook he's like you're telling me remember that guy yeah he's like Facebook <laughs> Do your parents go on that? Mark Zuckerberg. He kept fucking up his name. Too. He kept, Mark Zuckerberg. He keeps jazz scatting his yeah. name. Yeah. Like, yeah. And for this one. Do you have any ties to China, Mark Zuckerberg? <laughs> anyway. Um, I suspect. And by the way, oh, I've always been saying this. All women's is bisexual. You know, they like, get sexual when you buy them shit. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. It's just... <laughs> Hit it! That's the best yeah. joke I ever DJ! Pick <laughs> it! <laughs> DJ! <laughs> you kick it! Bro, have you seen that fucking video? And we'll get back to talking about titties in a sec. Oh, hell yeah. But there's that... Um, I, I get into a lot of like uh, YouTube wormholes of comics getting either beaten up by hecklers or them beating up hecklers. <laughs> <laughs> and like that, obviously the famous video of the guitar, the guitar comic, yeah, I love who fucking that hit the guy. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, uh, you saw it. He was coming right at me. Yeah. No, someone goes, you, you killed him. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, all right, show's over. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but there's another one where a guy. They're in this like weird kind of like cafe hall kind of thing, and it's. Uh, it's there's this black comic on stage and he's just laying into this fucking dude and the dude's wife and he's calling her a pig and all that stuff <laughs> and he keeps hitting the DJ and he's like oh look at the DJ and, then he keeps playing the song, and it's like you can't fucking win from that guy if you're the you're the guy in the crowd you're like you have to just sit there like this while he's like with your stinky ass wife boy she look like a beaver DJ <laughs> dude it's so Q funny man DJ in wherever a rebuttal uh, would go so like brilliant. yeah because yeah. the person can't go no that would be fucking sweet i'd love to watch that video right now i was gonna say <laughs> um i suspect and this might be bigotry on my end it's probably bigotry okay big tit uh, you never big seen tit a tree. You never yeah. seen a bigger tree in your life uh, <laughs> 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 um <laughs> you imagine somebody's like are you a bigot he's like no but i'm not a <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, what did my girlfriend text me? What she want? Right. Um, this is what I suspect is that when a boss hesh one woman sees a pair of breasts is floating down, she probably only gets like eighty percent of the joy that us as men get. Why do you say that? Because there's that primal hunter mm. inseminate kidnap <laughs> thing. You don't think bisexual women? <laughs> you don't think they got that in them? I don't think so. I think it's more of like a, there isn't a person in this world that I can't picture being a fucking monster. Really? Yeah. Well, especially when it comes to bisexual. <laughs> especially sexy. You telling me? What do yeah. you think, Nat? There's no way Nat gets the same. I agree, but pleasure. I think for a different reason. Where I'm like, there is still part of me that's like, still like. I'm a lady first, where I'm like, oh, I should be respectful. I shouldn't be a creep. But See, I've never felt when that. When you guys don't have that, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you don't try to... I'm not, be, you, 
Like, yeah, you don't look at the boobs if you see. Oh, them? I do look at them, but I'm like, gosh, I shouldn't be looking yeah. at them that much. So I'm not a you... creep. I'm not walking up being like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, lady, I'm a guy. Wow, well, honka honka. <laughs> All right, well, here's a question: Nat. Do you also lick your lips? Oh, see a nice can't, say I, can't say I do. Do you lick your lips when you see tits? Come on, play. <laughs> really slow. Yeah, we don't want to let a play a play. <laughs> uh, the lady that's working on behind the cashier at Burger King. <laughs> Sorry, that was hard to get out. <laughs> uh, licking your lips while you order uh, Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the only lady you like looking at the Wendy's girl. You know I love a redhead. <laughs> Um, you lick your lips if you walk by a, a woman and no I'm joking. Dude. Oh. I'll go. Uh, I'll say something did. out loud. Uh, I stroke my dick. <laughs> oh, mm. I'll do that thing where I go. Where you going? Hey, come here. Where you going? Hey, baby, smile, smile. more. Yeah, smile. <laughs> Man, you gotta smile more. <laughs> always okay, bitch. Always with the pepper spray and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. It reminds me of oh, I just got squirted on. <laughs> Was that squared or oh, pepper you a spray? Freaky bitch, huh? Oh, oh shit, me too. You one of them freaky ass. I'm gonna think <laughs> about you all day. A little dildo. Yeah. Well, that was like a taser thing. What's uh, that like horse thing where it's like long? Oh yeah, the uh, cattle prod. Cattle prod. Yeah. You take <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna prod. say Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> oh. Oh, what is it? It's 2001. <laughs> uh, where oh that, my god, where is that, that plane going? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. My vase is in there. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of vases must have gotten broken on 9 11. People don't talk about the real heroes. Oh, yeah. With the heroes, huh? Yeah. The vases. With the things you down. eat for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Better than breakfast, like you. Oh, oh right. Jesus come on. Christ, come on. Dude. I'm sorry. There's I'm a sorry. soft spot, and it's in the yeah. middle of my body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I have nothing to do until 10. <laughs> it's Brendan's fault. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Brendan starts banging his can. Yeah, like, you start bang, banging bang. your can. <laughs> I have a spot tonight at nine in Brooklyn. At nine in Brooklyn, eh? What time's it now? Seven forty-five. That's not bad. Yeah, I mean, I probably head there right after this. Yeah. What do you, What do you have at ten? I got the VU at ten. Nice, bro. Thirty or forty. So I really have a long time. Uh, what the fuck are you complaining about? <laughs> Nothing. I just have. I just fit. You know. We might as well stretch. <laughs> yeah. Try, you should try it. <laughs> stretch and you know. All right. I'm, I'm not going to do done. another hour if you're going to be nasty. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. <laughs> Let's do two more hours. <laughs> This has been a great show. Yeah, this has been a really nice always one. fun. This is, you know what? This is what this is what makes me a little happy. Good for you. Yeah, keep having, potting, having a nice time. It's not always this fun. Then, well, you know, yeah. So when you're happy, when you have this feeling of happiness, do I want to clap my like, feet together? Yeah. Why isn't it like a? Pre- <laughs> <laughs> why isn't it like a prevalent feeling? As much as like the, why don't you go, why don't you say out loud, look at me, I've got a great life. I podcast with my friends. I actually do naturally instead, say, you say that I'm an asshole day. and I hate people. I have, I say both things once a day. Well, there you That's go. I also don't balance. hate people. There you go. You hate people's comedy. I hate when people don't I take their work seriously. I hate when people are, you know, and that's not, I'm like, you know. I'm not like the best in the world, but I do. I hate. I hate comics. There's some comics, and I'm like, what yeah, the that's... fuck is this guy doing? Yeah. But then, you used you to know. podcast with those guys. <laughs> <laughs> I still am. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you mean? <laughs> you gotta have fun with it. You gotta enjoy it, dude. Yeah. No, I will say, naturally, once a day, I go, God damn, I'm lucky. Uh, I'll have that feeling once a day. Yeah, I say that out loud too. Yeah. Do the, the little recount of you know. Chasing my dreams, I got a cat. <laughs> that fell yeah, off yeah, quick. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for yeah. The, but sometimes if you hate the comedy so much, you do little tricks. Like, say you're watching somebody you really hate. Do you ever make eye contact with another comic during the show? Like, do one of those? Mm. That's like fun. I I've usually get that, turned yeah. on because now everybody's so fake that they'll like also pretend bad comedy's good because they're friends with them. <laughs> Oh, you know I do I mean? this though. I do a little. I know. Like... I used to do podcasts with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but everybody's like so. Everybody thinks there's more business opportunity in just being to be dishonest. Uh... <clears throat> but also, if I see like a comic whose act I really hate, I don't even hate them. I just think what they're doing in that mm-hmm. set sucks. 
Mm. That's it. I'm not like you, like, I hate you. I'm just like, but again, this all, I'm like very aware that I'm like, who the, like, wh- who the fuck do you think you are? You Why do you do that good? though? Why do you do that second part? Because that you're they're, invalidating your feelings. It's, it's not invalidation. It's just there's you have to have a little bit of awareness of it too. There's an awareness to it. You, yeah, I mean, I guess. But you, I'm, look, I'm not prior up there. Like, I'm not fucking. <laughs> they you know, they have to pry you through the door <laughs> to get you on stage. <laughs> It's a really nasty thing to say. (laughs) Okay, this is how this is gonna go down now. This is this is the I don't uh, know what bit we're doing. I don't know what gave you the idea that I'd be cool with this kind of humor. (laughs) (laughs) I love that the bits changed to now you're offended, (laughs) and I'm just on a fucking island alone. You are an island, and you're alone. (laughs) All right. Well. <laughs> hey. Yeah, don't feel good, right? <laughs> oh man, what should we talk about? What's been on your guys' minds <laughs> besides the McRib being back? <laughs> Is it really back? No, Is it back? So. I'll leave. I'll leave. <laughs> What's on my mind? What's on my mind? <laughs> Just it, you zoom in. There's a monkey going. King, 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 king. I was gonna say a bad haircut. <laughs> hey, that hurts because I was supposed to get a haircut tomorrow. You're very into your hair. Yeah, I like it. It it, yeah. it, it affects my confidence. He, really? I, oh yeah, and my a man's haircut depression. You know, interesting. Yeah. Charles is good hair. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah you got th- you got thick. I got the thick the thick Italian hair. Charles, yeah. you could have been like a movie star in like the eighties. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I think I think you're not anymore. Yeah, <laughs> but I think like well, there's Timothy Chalamet. Which, yeah, look at that guy. Yeah, you look like Luigi Virgin. Yeah. <laughs> I'll Chalamet. Did it. Wait, doesn't he live here? I got. Looks like Luigi Virgin. <laughs> <laughs> you two do look like Mario and Luigi. <laughs> First of all, it's Mario. I am so I'm sick. So sick of people of mispronouncing. People butchering. This is one of my do. heroes. Why names? would it be Mario? Let's get. Let's figure this out once and for all. Okay. Can you go to uh, one of the creator of Nintendo talking about Mario? He's a fucking Jap! Oh, he's, a, he's, a, he's Jewish? He's a Jewish lady? He's a Jewish American princess? <laughs> no, yeah, look This up. person created a, a Nintendo. It's like, yeah, so I created a Nintendo. Yeah. It's fine. I did it in between Coachella's. Yeah, yeah. I did. <laughs> Based off my cousin. I had the most, I had the most, uh, not Jappy, but the most Italian New York guy I've ever met in my life, but in the weirdest setting. I got off the train the other day and I was like, I'll buy my girlfriend a, a flower. Before I go home, I'm in the uh, a I single pick, flower. I buy an orchid. Yeah, do you have yeah, any? You buy single... her a dark rose, yeah. and you go. You have seven days <laughs> here to move out. <laughs> <laughs> it turns into saw. The last petal. You find I a puzzle. Move. I want to play a game. <laughs> you leave. He evicts me. He evicts me. Not. <laughs> 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 Wait, you bought your I lost home. my job. I lost my job. Not. I lost my job. Pay full rent. Uh, so I pick up this orchid. I'm in this little shop, and there's a guy at the cash register. He's got to be 50 years old, full tracksuit, slick back gray hair, big stun of shades. Hell Might yeah. be my manager. And, Hell yeah. <laughs> and he goes, Are you getting the orchid? And I was like, Yeah, it's a good He goes, That's fucking hot. It's yeah. a hot plant right there. And I was oh like, my god. Oh, Jesus wow. Jesus Christ. And He's that, not wrong, though. The orchid is a hot it's plant. It's a great hot plant. Yeah. Now, when what? you what does this mean? It's a hot planet. Like it's in. It means it's juicy. <laughs> now, when you brought this hot plant to your the love of your life, I don't know if you would go that far. Have it's you like, guys said I love you yet? We're close. Would you live together? Yeah, they've only been together four years. You live together what? and you haven't said I love you yet. We're at seven. We're waiting until ten. Oh, you no. said I love you. You're yeah, fucking. Yeah. We think about it. Oh, dude. I don't like how gay. Yeah, that is. <laughs> look at that. That's nice. Yeah, uh, that is a nice plant. How did she react? Oh, she freaked out. She really? She loved it. Get a, an orchid. How did the guy she was with react? <laughs> he, you know, he stepped. Hey on guys, it. You did you see that video, dude? <laughs> he on it. There's this. And then he he's fucked cr- my girlfriend. He's crunching it in his Timberlands. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I right, was these orchids. That's hot. Anyway, she's hey, in DJ. The, she's in the bedroom. <laughs> Drying up. Recovering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> she, she could use a flower. <laughs> Just bruise up her flower pimp. <laughs> Can I see her now? <laughs> <laughs> I wrote on the paper that I'd be back at three. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Demarius. <laughs> Did you drink my last Sprite see, again? See, you didn't say Demarius. You said Demarius. You see? <laughs> it all comes back, folks. Oh, uh, let's get, let's get, okay. Um... <laughs> What the fuck is that? Oh, did you see that video? There's a there was a uh, TikToker who got like uh, pretty big on TikTok because he did impressions of like Skyrim and and all that shit and uh. like and like just impressions of, like Scarface and all that. And then he fucking shot and killed his baby what? mama and her boyfriend. <laughs> and then there's now now it's in um, trial. Syndication. Now it's in syndication. <laughs> well, he's on trial now and he's like flipping out. He was behind the glass. He was like, "What would you do? What would you do?" He's the Joker uh, now. Yeah. He really is. He's like the Riddler. He was like, "He's like, what would you do if you got your wife in bed, or like with another man, and the man had his feet on the IKEA table that you made?" <laughs> wow. He flipped the fuck out, dude. I got it. And then all the comments. I know what I do. I show him a new fucking character. <laughs> <laughs> no, but all the comments were also like, "I get it." I get it, but it's yeah. pretty interesting. So I thought I'd. Bring but that's it like up. a crime of passion, right? You get a smaller sentence for that. I think. Yeah, but you have to drive. You have to get your gun. You have to drive to the house that she's at. Yeah. Uh, and shoot them both. Yeah. I think halfway through that drive, I'd be like, because they were separated at the time. Yeah, that ca- from from jury duty, that's not considered a crime of passion. You would have to have a gun in your hand and walk in on them suddenly. <laughs> uh, like, check out my gun. Coincidentally. Yeah. Imagine oh, if, it's, if it's bread and they're like, so let me get these case files straight here. <laughs> Mr. Sagawa. <laughs> you grabbed your gun. You drove over there. Stopped that white guy. <laughs> there we go. I did. <laughs> Went through the windows. <laughs> and you got yourself a... Uh, let me, let's see right here. <laughs> Can we read you the got, order? Uh, you got yourself... <laughs> He's got little glasses. Yeah. Your lawyer's you like, got yourself uh, uh, 100 chicken nuggets. <laughs> Your lawyer's like, Your Honor, objection. The uh, content of the order is not. Yeah. But we, it, it does matter because it shows his arms were tired. <laughs> uh, yeah. oh, on the contrary, I missed a plaintiff. <laughs> uh, I thought that'd be a crime of passion. You into Wendy's is a crime yeah. of passion. <laughs> 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 good time, yeah. yeah, this is a good time. I Charles, mean, how do you how- stay so fit? I meal prep. He's asking you how you fit through the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I mean, you're always fitting right through everything. <laughs> how, do, in your how do you fit in your clothes? This is the guy that I was just about to say. Now, Charles, how do you fit in your clothes? <laughs> I'm leaving. I see you guys get stuck in that. Like yeah. Serious interview. We're like, all right. We're like, Charles, we'll see you next week. <laughs> and we just stay here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's trapped in this room until one of us loses weight. I come back and you got Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what, what did you ask him? How do you stay so fit? He meal preps. I just prep it. What yeah. do you I eat? binge eat a He's lot. He's on prep, Brendan. Yeah. <laughs> nice. What do you eat? Uh, this I just eat. This week I made pad thai every day. I got it prepped. Damn, it's pretty good. Wow, salmon pad thai. But I just don't have snacks in the house. I, I, because I'm a binge eater. I'll eat. Yeah. I'll, I'll get the bodega and I'll, I'll get all those cupcakes. I'll eat just frosting, <laughs> just by itself. Wow, just containers. So if I don't have snacks, I'm good. Damn, dude. Yeah, I'm a binge eater. Yeah, but I, I'm not a snacker. You're a bench eater. You're a, you're a bed <laughs> eater. You're a couch eater. <laughs> <laughs> you're a walking eater. You're everything. <laughs> Natalie, bring in my list, please. <laughs> I just have a list. Of- <laughs> That's your journal. Just people you would kill. Oh, Brendan. Update Brendan. the list. Update the list. And that was the moment Brendan stepped into my trap. <laughs> uh, what do you do? So you binge eat? Yeah, I um, was that how you start a conversation with me? <laughs> I just want to keep it going. Um, no, I, you know what it is here. I'm actually I'm, I want to sue Chick Fil A. I you talked to me about Chick Fil A once. Why the, you said you panic order? Well, because I want to sue them because they don't tell you ahead of time. If you eat three sandwiches and some fries, <laughs> you'll feel tired. <laughs> Eating some of the Lord's yeah. chicken. I, don't, I, I feel miserable. Not, don't you feel like they should disclaim that to you? Like, mm. be a little warning. Yeah, there should be something that says like, "Don't eat too much of this," because yeah. you will be f- tired. Like, literally, if you just eat three of the chicken sandwiches, two spicy, one regular, medium fry, Diet Coke, light ice. What's us? Yeah, go diet with Four. the Coke. That'll yeah. that'll be that's a big change. <laughs> it's called balance. <laughs> you go and a diet Coke. <laughs> a, a little because I'm trying to watch my figure. 
Not I have, I have this real dad joke. I'll order like a huge burger with fries somewhere, and then as they drop it off, I'll be like, "This is diet, right?" <laughs> <laughs> That's a great bit. That That's bad, a, right? I love a real life bit. Yeah, that bad. I do that one. Yeah. Um, they call it my closer. <laughs> 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 yeah. So wait, what did somebody just post this whole big thing? Are oh, these are the ingredients in a Chick Fil A sandwich? Holy shit, that's a lot of ingredients. <coughs> What's in it? It's like forty different things that look like uh, Hamas members' names. <laughs> Halakalan. Oh, I've had that. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> you guys see these protests at these colleges? I uh, hear about them. Yeah, yeah. It feels like the yeah, yeah. It's pretty Fucking, crazy. I think that's, that's what Jerry's pissed so about. So retarded nowadays. It's like, what do you mean? The youth of this country is so unbelievably idealistic and just does not live in the real fucking world. They don't understand consequences of war. They think the United States should just be one giant teddy bear for the rest of the world. And like, meanwhile, Russia. Okay, well, what should we do, Lev? <laughs> I'm glad you you've, asked. You've got you've you've got it all figured out. You know what I think? The first course of action. Seatbelt extenders for these chairs. <laughs> 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 this is coming from the guy. This guy is this guy's criticizing people protesting war, coming from the dude who whose whole plan of losing weight is to get a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> it was your plan today too, asshole. <laughs> but not about losing weight. <laughs> At least I got the haircut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm lazy. I'm not stupid. That's another thing. I'm very lazy. Right. I am so lazy. So right. you eat a lot and then you do nothing about it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Me too. Me too. Like a, I love eating at like two in the morning while I'm like watching. I've been watching the Batman animated series on HBO. Yeah. It's so fun. Why are there like good food commercials during it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'll just. I don't need to watch food to eat. <laughs> it's not porn. Hey, it's like watching porn while fucking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me Babe, just cue up my over? favorite commercial. <laughs> yeah. I always go to the end of the commercial. I skip that first Yo, part. rewind that. Rewind that. Yeah. Love well. that chicken for Papa. Uh, uh. <laughs> Eating. Uh. Yeah. No. no it, and I'll like eat late at night and then I'll nap with it. No, uh, it's just not pretty. You know what? As I'm attacking these college students, I am remembering that I was once an idealistic idiot. Oh, what'd you fight as for? As a young boy. No, you just think like the world runs on fucking hugs and kisses and... Then you get old and you become a conservative. And but what it, what like, is like them protesting? Just out of curiosity, because I don't lean either way. You know, I just don't. Yeah, I just thank don't. God you'd kill us. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna start leaning towards your way. I want to flatten you. Um, what do you think is like idealistic about uh, you know doing a protest? I don't know. It's not that the protest. It's what they're protesting. Like now, there there's the videos that I'm seeing of like. Jewish what are kids they not yeah. getting allowed. They're not allowed to walk to their college. Oh, I saw classes. that. They're blocking them. Yeah, they're blocking them off. Like if, of Jewish kids. Yeah, yeah. They, they're fucking with Jewish kids. Like, yeah, they're like Palestinian protesters. That. And they're like lining up like, and like this, fucking with Jewish kids. Yeah, this that's kid's crazy. like, hey, I'm a Jewish student. I'd like to walk to my class now, and they will like not let them. Dude, if that's me, I would flip fucking shit. I mm -hmm. would body check. Oh anybody yeah. Well, life. did you ever see that video? There's a video where it's like, oh my god, this guy is so fucking relatable about um. There was a protest in New York, and it was like at the Williamsburg Bridge or something. Oh no, it was at the Brooklyn Bridge, and they were um, not. They were like doing a sit-in thing where they're like not letting people on the bridge yeah, or yeah, something yeah. like that. And one of the guys is like, "I'm I have a daughter who's getting out I of school," that, yeah. and they're like, "All right, let him in, let him in." And it's like. Well, if you're gonna let him in, you gotta. I got a fucking cat at home. <laughs> yeah. I'm late for a haircut. Yeah. For a haircut. I, I thought it was supposed to be yesterday. <laughs> They're not gonna take me a third time. <laughs> we were like, we probably should keep him on this bridge. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did see that. I think if you do a protest that shuts off bridges or major transport or highways like that, you should get hit by cars. At yeah, that point. one's right. tough. To shut off a bridge is crazy. Really yeah, annoying. because you're fucking. You're fucking yeah. a lot of people that don't have maybe time to protest not yeah. saying they they do have time to protest or whatever but it's like if you're a college kid and you're protesting and then like somebody's trying to get home from work or like get to their babysitter yeah. or whatever go it's to like, your class i that yeah. person you might want. agree Just don't with be you. in my fucking way yeah and don't put your fucking right. don't stand don't put your fucking body in front of mine yeah <laughs> or like tra like throwing paint <laughs> on fucking yeah yeah old yeah. paintings and shit like yeah. ruining masterpieces for coats for like what it's you're you're you know Probably, most likely, that person who painted that probably agrees with you. So what the fuck? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, but that was like the people who an assumption. They cemented. You see the cemented their hands. Oh the yeah, ground, and then they had to get their hands amputated. Oh my Jesus God. Christ! Jesus Christ! 
That's they had terrible. to get their hands amputated. Some of them had to get them amputated. That's fucking yeah. crazy. But now dude. they're on the Hollywood Hand Walk of Fame. Is <laughs> <laughs> a reach? <laughs> yeah. I don't think you realize that until you're a little bit like out of college age to be like the key to just be an adult is to just you can believe in something, but don't get in somebody else's way. Yes, get it's out of huge. the way. Get out yeah. of the way. That's it. That, that, this is the thing: is like, well, they say like if you're young and you're not liberal, you have no heart. And if you're old and you're not conservative, you, you have, have no, no brain. brain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thing. And I think most people just kind of inevitably fall into those kinds of things. But like I was a very I was very much like that. Then you just kind of realize like, oh, we're playing a game with like other superpowers across right. the world who are all doing the evil things. Mm-hmm. We can't you can't be the one country that's not because now you're Sweden and you don't fucking matter. It's like you want to stay on top? You want to have fucking five year old Chinese kids making your iPhones? You gotta play the game. It's just how the world works. Right. It's what it is. You right. Know? So, but they, these kids are so fucking idealistic, and it, and it also drives me crazy when adults. Are well, like, what does that mean, though? Idealistic. Like, like they they think if they protest, it's gonna actually make a difference. No, they think like the world should be ran in like a utopian sense where there's no consequences. Oh, sure. They live in a fantasy. But world. What do you mean? Like, like they like they think that like you're saying consequences for January seventh. No, I mean consequences for anything. Like, like they think that the U.S. government can be like a, not a fucking deep state nation that's overthrowing countries all over the world. Oh, like, right. They think we should just be the good guys. It's like you don't. You the, the world doesn't work that way. Yeah, it's all fucking complicated. Yeah, the world mm-hmm. doesn't work that way. It's just it's what it is. We got to fucking. We tried to be the good guys, and guess what? We got nine eleven. Yeah, we got nine eleven. We are nine hundred and eleven pounds right now. <laughs> <laughs> For being the good guys. Yeah. <laughs> we got nine eleven, and we got nine eleven. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I tried working on this joke about body positivity. I'll probably never do it again. But the joke was like, uh, it's like you know everybody who's like pro body positivity, like you'd never want to see their bodies. Yeah, and so so there's like a four hundred pound woman like wearing fishnets, and it's like, did you put that on or did you get caught swimming up here today? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. I, I thought like uh, this is the part that wouldn't work, but I was like, like if you're fat, just cover whatever that thing is up, like because because it's rude. It's like it's like if you go to a car show like an '89 Pinto, and you're also fat. <laughs> <laughs> that last punch would never hit, but that's my favorite part of it. But it's like that. Um, Joe Harari told me this has all been done before. Joe, hey, yeah. Joe's got yeah. Joe's in the know. Yeah. Wrong. Yeah. George Carlin had that joke. He opened that special with uh, the abortion thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Similar uh, structure in the beginning. Yeah. 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 How come everybody who doesn't want to get an abortion, you wouldn't want to fuck in the first place? Yeah. Huge applause break right away. Ah, he's old. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Carlin, I thought was like really uh, brilliant and like a great speaker. Had a great mind. I he never made me laugh though. Uh, ever. Interesting. I was prior really made me laugh. Yeah, I was always more of a prior guy when it came to those guys. Yeah. Prior, I remember that bit he had about, like, I remember before I even moved to New York, I was just like. Put your hand down. <laughs> I like that joke. Oh, I don't think I've heard that one. He, heard... Goes, he goes, you go to, uh, you're, something about, like, fighting someone who's tougher than you, where he's like, he's so tough. He's like, I put my hand up. He was like, man, put your hand down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you hear the one where something he like talks that. about when kids lie? He does an act out of his kid. Uh, maybe. I don't think so. It, it, I heard it on an album, and it was so fucking good that I shot out of bed as a seventeen-year-old and just rewinded it over and over. It brought me such joy. I couldn't believe I got it. Now, can you pull up the audio of that? It's called "When Kids Lie." Richard Pryor. It's like fifty seconds. He does like uh, I, don't know, I think I've set it up enough, but it's fucking Pryor was just incredible. Yeah, I, I liked Pryor. So I think I think out, like, out of those two, I, I like Pryor more. I think him, Cosby, and Louie. Oh jeez, man! Are like the best Is influences on you. Yeah. Have you ever seen their stand up? <laughs> <laughs> they did stand up. <laughs> <laughs> That's like kind of the, yeah. I was like, how do I? Um, it's from the seventies. I think so. Yeah. All right, I think I got it. Is this is like touring? three minutes long. It's sh- pull it up. Prior. Yeah. Prior is dead. Yeah. No. It, yeah, it's off this album. Probably cry right when you watch your kids do shit. <laughs> right, my kids was looking for me in the audience <laughs> to be dancing. Find in the transcript. Um, he says when 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 it starts off with kids when kids lie. It's like fifty yeah, seconds. Yeah, one Hear that part. It's really yeah. This better be good. I promise it's worth it. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> Those were your top. I, I think I, I don't. They're not my top, 
I don't like Cosby's not in my favorites. Yeah. But when I watch him, I'm like, Jesus, he was amazing. Yeah. Like he's got a special he did when he was like sixty or seventy or something for Comedy Central. There's like a ten minute chunk of it on YouTube. It's it's phenomenal. Really? It's fucking phenomenal. Oh, wow. I played it for my girlfriend and I like my girlfriend's like, you know, do the right thing and she was like, Is there more of that? Like, it was that <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, I never really got into uh, Cosby. Yeah, I haven't watched too much. I've seen a couple of stories. And now it's kind of, it, there is kind of like a hard, it's kind of hard. It is kind of hard. You know? Yeah. I tried listening to Woody Allen's uh, album. He didn't do anything. Because um, cause, cause I was, well, let's clip that. And, <laughs> is that the clip for the week? No, but I tried to listen to, uh, and I just, maybe I'll give it another shot. I don't know why, but I was just like. You know you should get another shot of? I can't. I listened to that too. He is killing oh, epic? Now. Insulin. Yeah. <laughs> I think I have what you're looking for. You got it. <laughs> Is that to the insulin? <laughs> yeah. Who broke that? Oh yeah. This is huh? it. Rewind it five seconds. Sorry. Oh my that God, Lev. <laughs> All right, so the bit is like. Some they start lying. You know when they real, you know they lying. You know. Say who broke that? Huh? <laughs> who broke that? I'm gonna tell you, okay? Okay, I'm gonna I'm tell you, okay? <laughs> I'm not gonna get no spanking, right? Okay, okay, I'm gonna tell you, okay? I'm gonna tell you anyway if I get a spank, okay? First, first win, first. I'm gonna tell you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Every word's a punchline. Everywhere. It's the same word over and over again. No, but it, but he's that got, is funny. This is actually there's a different version of it that's actually a lot tighter. Mm -hmm. But it's it's just a minute of that, and then he it's goes great. and he's like uh, he's like uh, he's like okay. Uh, first of all, that was broke before I even got here. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, you know how you said, don't be running. He, he's like, hey, cause I wasn't really running. <laughs> he's like, but it looked like I was running. My feet was going fat, but I wasn't really running. And then, and then it just was like that. <laughs> it's like so that great. That is really funny, it's man. so great. That's and funny. Because he just keyed in to like, it's so perfect yeah. of how. You have any jokes that you're like, no. this never, <laughs> this never works, but I love it so much. <sighs> Let me think. You're like, this never fucking works, but I think it's so funny. The ones, I have ones that like kind of work like that. Like I have a 9-11 joke mm -hmm. that like, a, like a really short one. I know. I was talking to the lady at the Apple store. You got a lot of shit. Yeah. <laughs> <up. laughs> uh... I have a new joke that I think is the best bit I've ever written, but it, it, it like. You have to fuck the stool. If you... <laughs> I have to break a stool. <laughs> <laughs> you have to bring on a, big, a bigger chair. <laughs> I bring up like an <laughs> office chair on stage. This is for later. Don't worry. <laughs> like this, yeah. Anyway, so. I have a bit that I think is like I really see audiences like light up in the relatability of it. It's about relationships, but the problem is I have the words f and rape in the bit. It's both at yeah, me. Yeah, will do mm -hmm. it. But and like <laughs> I'm just trying it's to both at me. It's I'm trying to get. It's like ninety percent there. And I'm just I just want to make sure it's like a, it kills every time. Yeah. You know? Especially before I like bring it into like good shows. Do you but, have anything that uh, you don't do anymore that you're like, I love this, but it just didn't work, and now fuck it. <sighs> there, there was one throwaway thing about nine eleven that I, was like, <laughs> <laughs> I need to see more of your sets. Yeah, <laughs> uh, where this thing I, I like the stuff that's like fun to do. You kind of end up like if it's not killing every time, or right. if there's not a place for it, yeah. it kind of ends up falling away. But the bit was like. It's not even a good. That's what I'm saying. It's not even a good bit. The bit's like, do you think the 9/11 hijackers, like when they were flying into New York, that right. a part of them was like, it's a pretty cool city. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Like yeah, under different funny. circumstances, they're like, oh, man, I actually never really got to come here. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's even better. <laughs> yeah. Can you but fly I, above the M&M store? Right. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It took a while. <laughs> and the, the big tag on it was the other guys like, uh, no, Bush said it's got to be done today. <laughs> wow. That's great. It's not bad. Like it Bush does all right, it. but it's like, where do you put that joke in the set? You know what I mean? I think you could. I think that's like what the yeah. Fahim Anwar kind of. He just like short little silly. The, his people did do it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> It reminds me of that Fahim Anwar <laughs> fella. Uh, all right, we probably wrap this bad boy up. It's been a fucking great episode, huh? Very fun. Oh yeah, you guys. I'm you glad guys... I had nothing to do today. Me too. You guys made this a humdinger, a home run.
A grand slam. <laughs> These are all items oh, yeah, and all pennies, things that you want to get. Yeah, <laughs> things that you want to eat after this. An all star breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real moons over my hand. Yeah, you guys, <laughs> you really made this a, a Dallas barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real dry tip end. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, do all that good stuff. Talk about us on Reddit. Spread the word. Uh, spread your ass and uh, tell people about the show. We're trying to move it up in the numbers without doing any work. <laughs> so, <laughs> we love you, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. <coughs> Shout out to the gas chat. Use promo code LEV14. Two free weeks. Catch up on all the episodes. I meant a different kind of ketchup, Brennan. <laughs> <laughs> There's ketchup on all the episodes. <laughs> There's ketchup on all. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you.